This here is an e scene Bluetooth hands-free phone bicycle Bluetooth speaker. And this was hands-free calling. I had one of these before. It failed. So this is my second one. The problem with the other one was it wouldn't turn on or off. Or once you got it turned on, you had to press this like a thousand the power button a thousand times. You had to turn off or get it to turn on. I had emailed the manufacturer. They never responded. It's supposed to have like a one year warranty, but that'll mean nothing if they don't respond. That purchased another brand. That one lasted a couple months, then it wouldn't stay connected. So I said, you know what? I'll give these guys one more chance. It's cheap enough, around 30, around 30, 40 bucks. Because it worked when I had it. Features a 4,000 4, milliamp hour battery, plus a 500 milliamp uh, hour ca capacity for charging your phone. Features a storage compartment, store your phone or you know, your sunglasses if you're at the beach. Water resistant is IPX5. The X is in place of the first digit for like dust resistance. The second number is the waterproof rating. So you know, you can use it out in the rain. You know, I don't know if you can use it in like a trench or downpour, but light sprinkle, light shower, you get caught in it, it's fine. Five volts to charge it for charging your phone or other devices. And you got the charging port, it uses a micro USB. So you got a little storage pouch here. And then you got storage back here for your phone, sunglasses cables the old one was blue this one's red the blue was more expensive this time around with the instructions on it. it supports 10 meters of wireless about 30 feet standard for Bluetooth I did make a phone call with this then the other one I could hear them, they could hear me. So I say, you know what, I'll try these people one more time. See if they, uh, maybe I just got a dud. See, IPX5 waterproof. Now, if this one fails too, then I will email the manufacturer, and if they don't respond, then I'll make a video calling them out. So, not that heavy, the Velcro straps to strap it. Now, because I got headlights on my bike, I have to strap these to the, to the bicycle cable. It's supposed to sit like this on the handlebars, just how, how it's viewing right now. But because I got hooked up to the cables, it's going to sit like this. I said I got headlights on the handlebars, so I can't mount this to the handlebars. So I Velcro it instead to the brake cables on the front. You know, MacGyver it. That's the microphone there for talking. Now, see, this is your volume, track selector, power, pause, play, hands free phone calling, then fast forward and volume up. Now, that's decent sound. You now, let me uh, get it connected to the phone and we'll see how she sounds. Okay, I got it powered on. Got Bluetooth enabled on the phone. Now I just gotta see if I can get it to connect. Pairing. Paired. So let's see, go to tune in. Let's see. Come on.
It's being stubborn. Now pause it because Susan, you know, can't have copyright music. YouTube don't like that. So that's all I can play is like a 10, 20 second clip. Even then I'll probably get flagged. But so far it's connected. And I'll play it for a while longer just to make sure it's going to stay working. Then I'll probably give a shot of it on the bicycle once I mount it. So let me play with it for a while off screen so YouTube don't bitch a fit. And we'll be back. A classic sock might be smelly and probably have a hole in the heel. Classic rock is just as good as the day it was recorded. We've got only classic rock right here on TuneIn. As you can hear, it's still working. I've been running for about an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 11 minutes actually. That's the station on TuneIn. And it's been working. Had to take it off Wi Fi because it was being stupid, so now it's on data right now. Kept buffering every five seconds. So it works so far. Time to tell how it works in the real world. The other one that lasted maybe a few times, a couple weeks, then it just started acting up and got worse and worse and trying to turn it on and off. So we'll see how this one does. If, you know, if it starts acting up too, I'll email the company and because it's got supposed to have a one year warranty and if they don't respond after multiple tries, then I will badmouth them on YouTube. Not that they give a fuck being in China, but whatever. Next step I guess is mount, mount it to the bicycle. <laughs> 